So for this tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, Camtasia for the Mac. And so I went to TechSmith.com, which is the company that has built um, Camtasia. They have several products, um, Snagit, Camtasia Studio, Camtasia for the Mac, Jing. And so if you're on the Mac, you'll want to download the Camtasia for the Mac. If you don't already have Camtasia, you can download a 30-day trial. Um, so if you want to follow along in the tutorial, you can do it that way. So on my computer, I actually have Camtasia 2 for the Mac. Um, there is a Camtasia 1, but it's no longer for sale. Uh, but this video is going to actually go over Camtasia 2. So I'm going to double click on Camtasia 2. Uh, first thing we notice is that a uh, capture dialog box comes up. Um, we see in the upper left hand corner that we are definitely in Camtasia 2. Um, be between the Apple and the file we see the application name. So with the capture utility, before we can actually start working on a video, we have to do a capture. So if we look at the drop down for recent region, we can see that we have several options. Um, I have been recording most of my videos at 1280 by 720 and you can see as I change the setting, um, it will actually highlight in green what section of the screen it's actually going to record. I would stay away from full screen recording unless you really have to, maybe for like a PowerPoint presentation, that's a good example of it when you would go into a full screen recording. Um, so in my case, I would choose under full screen, I have an iMac, so I choose iMac, so it's gonna actually record the entire screen. Um, I'm actually using another, um, um, utility to capture this tutorial so you cannot see my dock bar at the bottom but I am recording in full screen. What I typically try to do is um, stick to the 1280 by 720 or any more you can bump that up a little bit more to the 1920 by 1080 so again 720p 1080p. The 1280 by 720 is a good resolution um, so you can click on that one and to the right where it says camera off. If you clicked on the camera, it would turn the camera on if you have a webcam connected. To the right here, we have a drop down. We can choose a built in input, or in my case, I'm using Plantronic C620 headset. Um, I prefer the headset because you get better um, audio quality. Something to consider with the headset is to make sure that you're not speaking directly into the microphone. You want to be speaking past the microphone. If you start speaking into the microphone, you're going to end up picking up a lot of your P's and B's, any of the thing, the harsh vowels that you might um, say while you're speaking. And you can just kind of practice with that and um, see how your sound comes out. Uh, you definitely want to be careful of not um, spiking your audio. Um, so below that is system audio. If I click on the system audio, it's actually going to pick up um, any of the system audio from the computer itself. When I'm ready to record, I then click on the um, red um, record button to the right, and we will get a ready to record um, dialog box off the side of the screen. I can't show you right now. I wish I could. Let me see if I can adjust this. Ah, there we go. So you'll get this um, record option down here. So you just go ahead and click on the record to start the recording. I'm going to switch this back to the 1280 and click on record. And we get a countdown, 3, 2, 1. And we're now recording. So if we were showing um, something on a website, we can actually now bring in, so I'm in Firefox, and all I've done is I've actually just adjusted the browser so that way it fits just inside the recordable area. So now I can be recording what I need to record, and by doing it this way, um, actually capturing your screen at 1280 by 720, and then publishing it as 1280 by 720, uh, you're going to get the cleanest video possible. Um, so that's just a little heads up. But in the upper right hand corner, um, you'll have an icon that you can click to actually end the recording. So you're going to right click on that. Um, get rid of that for a second. You're going to right click on that and you're going to go down to stop recording. So after you click on stop recording, 
um, you're taken into Camtasia and into a new project. So right now I'm in Camtasia 2 and I'm in a project. So I would need to now do a save as and I'll want to save this project. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a Camtasia recording of my desktop, um, just as an example. And you'll want to make sure that you, re that you save that because it doesn't actually save it by default for you. Um, so now I'm actually in Camtasia itself. And in the next video, we will go over um, how to do some basic edits and how to do some of the other things like annotations and transitions.